and maybe this is kind of from like a chronic illness perspective or this would apply to anybody who has a lot going on in life. Good morning. Ah, I don't know why that's such a satisfying feeling when I get all my morning pills down at one time. I guess it's just like one and done. The other challenge of it is you're holding like some enzymes in your hand and then you pick up the Trikafta packet and you try to pop them out with the same hand and then you have to open the cobbler and dump them all out and you didn't drop any of them, that, you're winning. You're winning and then if you didn't choke on any on the way down, that's like bonus points. Harry, can you say good morning? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I literally don't know what day it is. I'm guessing today is Monday. Wow. Peter and Ollie just got back from a walk. They're outside being cute. One of the things I was thinking about last night, I was working in the kitchen. I loaded the dishwasher, started the dishwasher, and then Peter was working outside and I knew that he was gonna be exhausted when he came in and I thought to myself, I'm gonna make him pancakes. So I cleaned the kitchen, then I did like pancakes and bacon and hash browns. And so that obviously created more dishes, but I was thinking of like an Instagram post last night, but then I didn't end up doing it. So I'm gonna do it for you, are you ready? Okay, so, <laughs> he's laughing at me. Good morning guys. Um, Basically this idea of not aiming for perfection. Mm. <laughs> Great. Um, I cleaned the kitchen and all the dishes didn't fit in the dishwasher. So I filled the sink back up. So if, if I was aiming for perfection last night, I would have to say that I failed on the task of cleaning the kitchen. But I was challenging myself not to think of it as failed. So there was success in like cleaning the dishes off of the counter, everything's in the dishwasher, the dishwasher started, and then I decided to make food, which is good. Um, I felt well enough for it. I like had the stuff to make pancakes. I made them from scratch. And can I just say, it was amazing. <laughs> And we added, we ate it out on the back deck. Here's a glimpse of that. I decided to make a pancake feast. Pancakes, hash browns, bacon, and some of Peter's pancakes are blueberries. That's the last kind of scraggly one. Oh, I'm so excited. Amazing. Basically, Peter worked a lot of today in the yard and it was a ton of hard work. And I know he loves pancakes and we like, Almost never eat them, yeah. so it was so fun. A fun thing to do. It was an amazing surprise. Good. So in the end, was the kitchen spotless? Absolutely not. It I mean this counter is completely full, the sink is completely full, but I guess I'm just and maybe this is kind of from like a chronic illness perspective, or this would apply to anybody who has a lot going on in life. Yeah. Um, cleaning the house can feel discouraging if you have children coming after what you just cleaned and like making a mess right after you just cleaned or if you have a chronic illness and you're like, oh, I wanna clean my kitchen, but you end up not being able to clean the whole thing, it can feel kind of defeating. But I guess I was just like teaching myself that I'm not looking for perfection. I have a clean counter and I made good food for Peter and that was good and I started the dishwasher and like I guess looking at progress instead of looking for perfection because if you are looking for like your sink is clean and shined and that's all good like there's nothing wrong if you're able to get the whole thing done that's great but if you're not able to it doesn't 
okay, the lack of perfection does not negate the good that you did. So I cleaned the counter and I, I should be happy about that. It doesn't, you know, like just because there's dishes in the sink doesn't mean I didn't have some progress. Oh, I think you know what I'm saying, but it's starting to get a little mixed up in my head. Either way, that was my, <laughs> that was my thought last night. So today, I'm just gonna continue building on the progress. I have clean dishes in my sink. I have dirty dishes, oh wait, I have clean dishes in the dishwasher, I have dirty dishes in the sink, hopefully I can switch those over and maybe I'll have a clean sink then. But the reality is, then it's lunchtime and there's gonna be more dishes, so we're not looking for perfection. Um, we're just looking for progress and yeah, just kind of being okay with the like, in between, kind of like my kitchen table right now. Like this side of it is covered in medical stuff and then more medical stuff on the other end and then watercolor painting stuff in the middle. I mean, what are you gonna do? Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go sit down because I need to do my vest and that means sitting down and do some nebulizers and finish the morning stuff. That's what I'm gonna do. Do you like that couch? You're so cute. And have you guys seen our snake plants? I don't think we've talked about these, but we got this one and this one. And we got that pot to go with some contrast with our navy wall and here is the hairy boy hi buddy oh hi. my gosh the half eye open hi bud bud what buddy. you up to buddy. hey oh. buddy do you notice that the camera doesn't want to focus on his face because it just doesn't recognize it as a face <laughs> here come up here you want to come up Go see your cat, Daddy. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Harry, go see Peter. Come on. <laughs> oh, he needs some snugs. You want snugs? Where are you going? There you go. I'm just going to sit here. It is lunchtime in our house. And we are finishing off the enchiladas that I made a few days ago. I'm so glad I made that whole pan. Yes. They have fed us. Many meals. Many, many meals. Do you hit your knee every time? Pretty much. Did that hurt? It, no, it's good. It feels good? <laughs> no, it does not feel good. I'm good. I mean, I mean, that is so stinking cute. He was previously under the blanket. Good morning. But I guess he wanted a little afternoon sun. What do you think of that? Can you believe it, that in December will be one year of Harry living with us? Isn't that crazy? <gasps> Wait, is that the hummingbird? I kind of need to wash that window. Maybe I'll wash the windows. I got some ivy for our plant wall. 
You've been searching for ivy for well, a long time. They, they had the, I forget what variety it is, but it has yellow on the outside. And I like kind of the more dark green it's ivy. Super cool. So I think that'll be cool. And eventually it'll probably grow all up and around our wood wall. Peter is smoking steak for our dinner and he's working on the yard at the same time. Looks like he's gone to grab the, I don't know, refill stuff to refill his little pushy thing. And, hi, really? No way, are you serious? Really? Oh, I love you too. And I prepared asparagus and I cut up some of those potatoes we had. I need to figure out different ways to use that bag of potatoes up. So I thought some homemade french fries for our steak, french fries, and asparagus dinner. So we're just waiting for those to cook while he's still working on the yard and hopefully everything will be ready at the same time. The way I like my asparagus, just a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt, and in the oven for five minutes. So they're still crunchy. Mm, I love them. At like maybe 400 degrees or whatever, 350, whatever. It's okay. I'm not cooking from a recipe. Cook it from your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want seltzer water or sparkling lemonade? Um. Or milk. Or. I think I'm just gonna stick with my water out of my salsa jar. Okay. Just okay. saying, this jar is perfect for drinking out of. It's this. It's the salsa jar from Wegmans. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. Oh. That thing's still going. No, it's air conditioner. Oh. Oh yeah. Wow, I'm not sure whether to call that artsy or just out of focus. I just did these french fries on a baking sheet in the oven with some vegetable oil and a little bit of salt. We're gonna open the windows because it's super smoky in the house. And that was from pan searing the steak. He does a reversed, what is it? Reverse sear. Reverse sear. So he smokes it to the right temperature on the grill and then pulls it in the house on his cast iron and sears it so it gets a good crunchy outside. Okay, I'm exhausted. We're gonna eat. done then it's lots of watering this is the permanent grass so the grass we had during the summer was temporary very temper, temporary <laughs> but we loved it while it was here so we're really excited it feels <sighs> very like Peter's doing the work to put it out but we have no control over if it grows so we are just gonna wait and pray that it grows and just celebrate and be thankful if it does yeah 
We're really excited. Yeah, I'm super excited. And? As always. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll, we'll be sure to show you a graph update really frequently. Yeah, a week or two. <laughs> good night. Good night, Bonesy. Can you say good night? Good night.